In the Obama Chronicle segment tonight, the far-left organization Move On and the senator. Move On, of course, is the group that smeared General Petraeus and generally raises money for far-left causes. They are fanatically progressive. As far as Obama is concerned, Move On has spent close to $4 million in support of the senator this year, and another million, too, attacking John McCain. Also, Move On will spend an astounding $38 million to bring out Democratic votes on Election Day. Joining us on Washington, Matthew Vadim, senior analyst at the Capital Research Center, a conservative nonprofit group. So, I asked uh, Senator Obama about Move On in my interview with him. And he didn't really say much other than that he criticized them harshly for the Petraeus deal, which he did. But other than that, there hasn't been a lot of discussion about Barack Obama and move on in either quarter. Am I, did I miss it? I don't think you missed it. I think that it's out there. It's just that the media doesn't want to cover it in any uh, great degree in any great degree move on is a very effective political machine much like the chicago political machine that helped put barack obama in power back in the state senate and and uh... into the u.s senate they are they're not just about bringing money to help barack obama get elected i think that's very important to understand they're about um, they're about organizing meetups they're about organizing bake sales. They're about motivating people, uh, do it, you know, get out the vote efforts. They're about voter registration. They're about getting people excited about their issues and political educa uh, agitation, rubbing raw the sores of discon uh, discontent, to borrow the phrase that Saul Alinsky used in Rules for Radicals. And Alinsky, as we all know, is, uh, was a role model, a hero of Senator Barack Obama. I don't know about that. I don't think Obama would categorize it that way. But um, be that as it may, move on is a, you're right, absolutely powerful. George very Soros effective money political in there, machine. tremendous, tremendous clout. But they had tried to help Howard Dean, and it didn't work. And they tried to help John Kerry, and it didn't work. Is there anything they're doing now, move on, differently for Barack, for Barack Obama? Well, I think a lot of things have broken their way. The war is unpopular. You've had the stock market collapse. And, uh, you know, there's a general uh, air of discontent in the country, and they're capitalizing on it. But I, I think that you're, you're downplaying the significance of their role, uh, particularly with respect to Howard Dean. Howard Dean went from being a virtually unknown governor of a state that most people don't think about. It's a very nice state. They make good ice cream there, Vermont and maple syrup. But Howard Dean went from being a virtual unknown to being a front runner in a fairly short period of time, thanks to the savvy and the organizational skills and, and the internet knowledge, the internet savvy of MoveOn.org. Is there so any they're, corresponding group? They're very effective. Group. It's just that oh, it didn't break, for, break their way okay. before. But, but it's a legitimate question to ask if they're doing anything differently now than they did with Governor Dean and John Kerry. But is there a corresponding Republican operation to answer MoveOn? Not really. There's Freedom's uh, Watch, but and there was a new group that started up the Americans, American Issues Project, AIP, that was running the ad saying, do you know enough to elect Barack Obama, uh, but these are emphasizing his ties with Bill Ayers and right, so on. Right. These aren't at the level But these are relatively on. puny. Okay. They're, they're not as, as significant as Move On. Move On is, uh, is, is a very significant no, organization. Huge because of the money that they command. Now, is there any evidence of direct ties, you know, like communications between the Obama campaign and move on? Not, not really, as far as I know. What happened is the, the, they basically, campaigns typically send signals through the press uh, and through intermediaries indicating whether they want political activist groups to be active or to stand down. And Obama was of the view a few months ago that he didn't really need the 527 committees, for example. And then a few months later, he changed his mind and sent the campaign sent signals that they could actually use the 527's help. So, and those are the campaign. Those are the contribute the committees that are allowed to accept that unlimited contributions. That that the move on people talk to the Obama campaign and back and forth. They strategize I'm sure, together. I, I'm sure that there are a lot of friends and they get together and and have uh, and have beers together See, and like they to all know, know each other. I'd like to know that if there's if there's contact between Barack Obama or his people 
and there's, prob the highest there's level probably the overlap. And I'd like to know that. See, there's probably overlap, but I don't know if there's enough to do anything anything legal about it. And, and yeah, because uh, they're not supposed to have any contact. They're not supposed to have any contact, but All right. it's very easy to send signals through the press. It's easy, but we'll see. Mr. Vedum, thanks very much. We appreciate.